you can run any quantized GGUF model from Hugging Face Model Hub locally on your computer using Olama in just single command. This was possible with the recent Olama update. So all you have to do is make sure that you have got Olama downloaded and running and then go to your terminal and then just run in this particular format. You have to say Olama space run hf.co slash the username, the repo name and colon latest. So I'm going to show you an example here. So I've got Olama run hf.co Bartowski and then the Llama 3.2 1 billion instruct model. The moment you click this, it's going to start downloading the model for the very first time. You don't have to have this model available on Olama model hub. So previously what used to happen is you had to have a separate model on Olama model hub. Now that barrier is gone. This model is directly getting pulled from Hugging Face model hub or maybe some kind of internal conversion is happening. Now the model is getting downloaded directly and with this just single command, all you have to do is this. I'm going to show you how to build this command using the web UI and I mean web UI go to the model hub and then download it. At this time of recording, we have got more than 45,000 models. So if you go see the GGUF models, you've got more than 45,000. I don't know how many of them are stable diffusion or image generation models, but if we just talk about language models, we should definitely have a generous amount of models and that model should be available for us to use. So the model is downloaded. All I'm going to do is, how are you? Terrible question to ask a model. Did you see the speed? It's insane. Write a joke about Elon Musk. Why did Elon Musk go to the party? Because he heard it was going to be a boring event and wanted to accelerate his social life. Get it? It's a nice joke. Maybe let me ask the same question. Write a joke about Elon Musk. Why did Elon Musk bring a ladder to the party? Because he wanted to take things to the next level. <laughs> this is actually funny. This is actually funny. Okay, cool. So how did we get here? The very first step that you have to do is download Olama and then make it available on your computer. So download Olama, install Olama, run Olama. That means Olama should be available as a command on your CLI. So when you go to your CLI like this and then just do Olama, then you should get something like this. That means you have successfully installed Olama and everything works fine. After you have done that, now go to Hugging Faces model up and go pick any model. Like for example, uh, I'm going to go to this particular profile, Potowski, who is quite prolific in releasing GGUF, kind of reminds me of the olden times of, um, you know, the other uh, prolific model releaser. But anyways, the model releaser is not working right now. Uh, now I'm going to go here. This is the latest model from uh, NVIDIA. You can go to his profile and pick any model. Like for example, go to models here, uh, recently updated and look for a model. For this particular demo, I'm going to pick a model that is smaller in size. So it's easier for us to use it. Let's grow with uh, granite models. So this is the latest family of models from IBM. I mean, have you ever thought in any world that IBM was going to release open models? Apache 2.0 license. Strange, isn't it? So I'm going to copy this link. Go back to my terminal. I'm going to say Olama run hf.co slash the username, the model name, colon latest. And then run this. This is going to download the model from Hugging Faces model up. If you want any specific quantized version. So if you, you can go to files here and you can look for a different version and then you can pick a different version. So if you want like Q8, you can do Q8. So all those things you can give here after this. You can give the particular name after this. But for now, I'm going ahead with the latest one. Um, if you're not familiar with quantization, it's a process of uh, reducing the precision of the model while trying to retain the accuracy as close as possible to the original model. This is called a post training quantization. And we also have a new format called GGUF in this, which has been popularized by Llama CPP. At the core, Llama CPP is there. So thanks to Llama CPP for all the advancements here. So the model has been pulled, as you can see here, pulling manifest. Uh, it's uh, It is downloading all the required files here. We have got a bunch of smaller files. After it downloads all the files, it is verifying the SHA-256 digest just to make sure we downloaded everything. To go ask you, who are you? I'm an assistant designed to help your questions, provide information. I try to provide concise and accurate responses. I'm going to say, tell me a joke. Why don't scientists trust atoms? Because they make up everything. Oh, tell me a joke. 
Why do you call a fish with no eyes? Ah, a fish with no eye. <laughs> this is a terrible joke. Or is it a good joke? I don't know. So anyways, that's all you have to do to run any GGUF model. If it's a large language model, that's all you have to do. This should ideally work for vision language model also. And when you download these models, you would be able to also run this model as an APA endpoint, but that's for another tutorial. So one line, all you have to do is Olama run hf.co, the username and the model name, which you can directly go here and copy and run it. I hope this was helpful to you. See you in another video. Happy prompting.